my nuts. Oh. Me and Jeff are back at it again as usual. I gotta run out here and uh, we're gonna stop by Hamburger Honda. I gotta pick up some uh, grommets for the shocks on this thing. They are, as I said in the other video, they are worn out and that's one of the um, the major maintenance items on a bike, uh, on a uh, 1800 VTX. So. There's a few of them um, that uh, that you need to do to kind of you know get the optimal you know running and, and you know the, the optimal bike for your bang you know there's a uh, one is the D smog uh, taking off the uh, the pair valves and, and blocking them off and taking away of all them all that piping that comes out of the top of the heads. Another thing is the what I'm getting today is the rubber grommets on the rear shocks. Can't see them. Uh, they wear out pretty darn quick, um, so they're usually gone too. So if you're ever purchasing something like this, those are the things that you want to check uh, or ask. Has it been desmogged yet? Uh, you can see the piping in there. Um, it's way under the tank, though. It's it's really hard to see. You got to kind of. I watched the video and seen like what all the piping looks like so I was able to look under this it has not been done yet and I can tell because I get horrible gas mileage and, uh, and that's not really that but I can tell that it's not been done but the reason why I get horrible gas mileage is the other major maintenance thing that you have to do with this bike which is take the tank off and you have to take the paint off of the um, the, the frame and get the ground sealing better so it's called the they refer to it as the ground fix uh, for a VTX 1800 so I need to do the ground fix because my plugs were really sooty and real black and gooey and uh, I'm getting horrible gas mileage I mean this bike sucks up gas <laughs> to start with so it's not a it's not a very efficient bike um, but it can do better than 100 miles I mean I've been the lights coming on at 96 miles so that's not going to do in any kind of long distance situation but uh, getting the ground fix is going to have a better ground which means we're going to have a better spark and we're going to be burning more fuel and not leaving so much in the combustion chamber and sitting up all the you know the spark plugs and whatnot so when I get that fixed I should have better uh, you know gas mileage another thing it's not really a maintenance thing but it is something that's suggested by most people that own these bikes uh, is to get the progressive uh, shocks specifically they say they work really well um, this is a soft tail but my goodness it's stiff and uh, it feels like a hard tail sometimes when you're going over certain bumps oh my nuts um, maybe that'll improve with these rubber grommets replaced because it's pretty much sitting steel to steel right now so I, I, a minimal improvement but still it, it's this is a, a common thing for this bike that most people uh, long-term owners are, are switching out so I may look to do that as well and now some would say an, another portion of that um, as far as getting to that ground fix um, the you, you you have to do it every so often because it will get you know you're gonna be leaving bare metal when you go under there you have to grind off all the paint they painted all the, the, the parts all the ground leads and connectors and brackets and all that are, are all painted powder coated so what you have to do is scrape off the paint on all the contacts all the screws and everything and the actual frame so obviously you put a lot of dialectic you know uh, grease on there and make sure that it's covered but it's going to need services so some people um, because the uh, fuel tank hose is like real close to here some people put a, uh, a quick disconnect on that uh, that line to where they can just pop it off and it just a minimal couple drips come out and it seals itself um, that that sounds interesting because you know that would make it a lot more convenient and I'm lazy so if I know that you know I can easily get this tank off it may be worth the time putting that that quick disconnect and and getting you know that ground keeping it up you know upkeep upkept upkeep maintenance maintenance maintenanced got to keep the ground maintenanced is what i'm trying to say so yeah so this is uh the first step in that is to get these grommets they're pretty cheap they're only like five six bucks each something like a little over 20 bucks to, to do that one maintenance fix uh the d smog you can get the uh pair valve plate the block off plate because you're going to be taking off this big honking thing that comes out that's about you know this big about two and a half inches and about an inch wide so there'll be a plate that you'll have to get and you could order those on ebay's um and, I, and i'm going to be doing that 
soon. <laughs> I don't know. These are all things that I need to do. Um, you know, I don't know if they're all going to happen during the season. I may leave some for, you know, off season. But it's hard for me to get to my bike in the off season. The sound, um, the sound is great. If you like loud bikes, though, um, as a two a, 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 a two sided response there because it is a very loud bike. Oh, that motherfucker is loud. Yeah, man. I can't hear no music. <laughs> I mean, very loud bike, and uh, you know when it's just idling, it keeps a you know a, a low rumble. But when you really get on it, this bike really starts screaming. Um, so that's gonna maybe push some things, maybe earplugs, long trips. Um, maybe some people have to consider neighbors in, in the purchase of something like this. But yes, it, it, is, uh, it is absolutely a loud bike and uh, it, it's definitely something to consider. I love it, I love it, it's obnoxious and I love it. Once again at Hamburg Honda. See, we're shaking. Oh, lawful. Okay, I thought it was an X out. Awesome sign. All right. So it's just a just a small little cozy dealership, but they always have what I'm looking for. So I had to I had to let Jeff look and oh check out the the gold wing here. Wow. Well, this pretty much is the street glide, right? Road glide. Road glide. I keep messing that up. I don't think I've ever gotten that right. But this is pretty much the same thing. Um, it's got the back wrap, the back passenger stuff. Yeah, a ton of a variety of buttons to push while you ride. I'm sure the whole screen lights up. They don't have. Do they have it? No. What the heck is that? What does it do? Is that a sunglass holder or something? <laughs> or is it just like an extra vent? That's weird. That's kind of odd. So, I'm going to sit on it and see how heavy it feels. Oh. Wow, it's not bad actually. It feels very low. Oh man. Yeah. Wow. Now, I know I'm not a man of age that is, you know, Goldwing age just yet. <laughs> so they say, but look at what they got here, man. Plug. This is the gas, maybe? I don't know what this is. How do you get it open? Probably pop somewhere. But like i'm sure the this thing is heated dude honestly this feels as heavy as my um as my fjr wow don't don't tell me i'm turning into a goldwing guy i need to make more money to be a goldwing guy apparently because <laughs> but uh the old lady will get on the back of this look at that whopping thing sticking out what is that is, is it a bazooka? We got. Uh, I don't know if that's like a part of the engine that comes out, or is that like a just an extra piece of ugly? I mean, for distance, if if the whole idea is doing distance, you you really can't beat this. Can I pop these? How do you get these open? How do you even open these things? Now, there's a button there. I'm a motorcycle guy, as you can see. <laughs> how do I get into this thing? <laughs> Let me in. I, I can't even figure out how to open the bags. No, that's what you just saying. There are computer. Yeah. Oh, it's like you got to use the fob. So if the fob dies, I'm stuck. Is there a fob insert area in case that happens? Honestly, I've never had that question. Well, I know the Harley. There's override pass. There's a pass. Yeah. Yeah. What do we got going on there? <laughs> Dude, honestly, yeah. At 80 miles an hour, that might like solve something that's going on. You never know. Dude, how much does this weigh? The gold weighs 845. 845? Yeah, that's right around where you're at. I don't know, man. I mean, if you're good, if 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 there was ever a, a good-looking gold wing like the new ones, whew, sure are. I'll just show you real quick what I'm talking about. 
these are the rubber grommets I don't know if you can see that but they are what goes right in here so I gotta pop this out slide these ones on as you can see as you know it's ripped and uh, and these just pop on each side and should give me a little bit better ride did it <laughs> so we're leaving Hamburg Honda now and we're heading out now to Gowanda Harley-Davidson to go and pick on Harley-Davidson people now he uh, got a couple parts I think that he needs to pick up over here I'm not exactly sure or he has to uh, get something tuned up or something like that I don't know probably spending more money either way we're gonna cruise on out here take some beautiful roads on the way out to Gowanda and uh, check out Harley Davidson or Gowanda Harley Davidson it's a really awesome uh, Harley Davidson you know what I mean the dealer has been there for a long time and the same family and all that and uh, you can check out a video Jeff actually did a video when he bought his bike out there and kind of like the family the history and all that so um, you can check that out uh, at Jeff Williams uh, right there it's Jeff Williams 716 don't forget the 716 Buffalo baby so yeah, we're going to ride out. Again, at Gwanda Harley Davidson. Jeff got to get some stuff. What you getting, Jeff? Just picking up my vest. Oh, Dude okay. The patch on. Just getting the vest. Oh, with the okay. Sweet, sweet. So let's go check it out. that there is a bike night in Springville so we're gonna go down there and check it out well we kind of checked it out it's just a small little thing out here we're way out in the middle of nowhere but I guess you know if you live out here in a small little town this is a little something to, to come and do in the evening time but anyways, we're starving. There ain't no good food in there, so uh, we're going to head down and get some chicken. Alright guys, so we're about to bring it in. It's about a night. We're going to call it a wrap. Um, <clears throat> I got my my grommets my my little bushing so i'm gonna be putting those on i'll do a video probably you know when i finally do get those on you know just to do like a quick little install or whatever with those ones and then i've still got the floorboards to do as well but anyways guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like the video hit the like button and if you didn't like the video i don't know why you watched all the way to the end it wasn't going to get any better mm -hmm.